In this video we're going to show you how to install the GeoVision DVR server software. Um, at this point you should have already installed your cards into the computer and have inserted the, uh, the disk that comes with the cards. Then you want to go to your star bar, computer, and double click on the disk. Should, uh, if you put it in it should come up with an auto run and it should look something like this. Um, we're going to install the driver first. So if we click install or remove GeoVision GV series driver, install or remove GV series card drivers, click that and then click install. It's going to install the drivers, install successfully, exit, and we're going to install the USB device drivers, install. It's going to ask you to restart, but we hit cancel because we're going to install the system and then we're going to restart. So we click exit and click the little house button right here to go back to the main screen. And then we're going to click uh, install GeoVision version 8.5.5.0 system. Now th that could change with the age of this video. Um, it's going to have you agree to the license, licensing terms, and we're going to install the main system here at the top should install most if not all of these other utilities as well. Um, then you want to select your card type. We have a GV5016 card so we're going to select that. Click Next. Um, you got to choose your camera type, PAL or NTSC. If you live in the North American region you should be selecting NTSC or if you know you have PAL cameras you should select PAL cameras. But we're going to use NTSC since we're in the North American re region. It's going to recommend to you a screen size. So we're going to select the one recommended to us. Um, and it's going to just give you a few options. Add to the startup, install the IR remote. We're not going to do either of those. Just click next. Actually, we are going to add to the startup. Click next. Um, it's going to select Tell it, ask you where to um, install the folder. We're just the default's fine. Next, next, install, and the install should go for a couple, two minutes max. Okay, and when you're done, it's going to ask you to restart, and we're going to hit yes. And after it restarts, you should have your GV uh, DVR system up and going. If you have any questions, please visit us at edigitaldeals.net.